W I C R. We're back, and we got a special guest in the building right now. Another one. You want to introduce yourself, man? Yeah, no problem. My name is Lef, aka Taz. You know, you can look me up on Instagram or Snap or anything as the only one left. D A only number one left. Gotcha, gotcha. And you said that you were artist before. Yeah, I was an artist. Um, mm -hmm. I actually started writing rhymes at like nine. Okay. I was like in third grade. Um, so like mm -hmm. I started because it was fun to me and. Honestly, I seen like you know Bow Wow and Romeo out there. I was like, they can make it. They trash. I'm, I'm gonna kill the game when I get in it. You know, so that's what started me. Mm -hmm. And then um, you know, it just built and built. And then as I you know grew older, got into um Souza, which is a middle school. You know, um, I linked up with you know Pepe, which is my guy. He live out in Georgia. He be spitting bugs. Rest in peace. You know, that was my best friend. Mm -hmm. He be spitting. You know. So I just linked up with a bunch of people and we just came together. We made a group called Looney Tunes. That's why I got the name Taz, Bugs, Pepe, Daffy, you know. Gotcha. The craziest concept ever. Yeah, that's, that's LT, dope. you know. That's, that's dope. That's us. So. And so what made you want to become a manager in the end? Oh, well, like I said, like, you know, you know, when, when you start spitting, you know, you always meet other artists. So then it mm -hmm. was like... You know, people that I grew up with was like, oh, I spit too, I spit too, I spit too. And then we was all mm -hmm. spitting, whatever. So... When Bugs passed now, um, I kind of, like, lost my ROM books. Well, two of my ROM books, actually. It got mm -hmm. thrown away. And, like, basically, I just kind of, like, lost my inspiration. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, I always still inspire my people. It's like, you know, I keep going, keep going. Y'all niggas is nice. I'm mean, my mm -hmm. fault. Y'all are nice. Um, so, basically, I would give ideas and stuff like that to my mans. And they'd be like, yo, why don't you manage, you know? Because, like, your ideas is sick. Like, you make mad sense. All the time, like what you be coming up with makes mad sense. Mm -hmm. If you ain't gonna rap no more, then at least st it'll still stick with the music. And I'm like, you know, it makes mad sense. And then my cousin, shout outs to him, HD Silver Lord Films. He um he's the one that got me into the photography and videography. Um, he bought his camera and he started showing me stuff and he shot um my boy MR's video. Mm -hmm. And it just was like, yeah, actually, I think I could do this. And that just made me like buy my own camera you know start learning hands-on learning you know mm -hmm. just t trial and error and then now mm -hmm. i'm here so gotcha and we were actually just talking about uh um record deals and in, in, in the business and stuff and, and all these independent artists that are coming out um right. which like chance the rapper and, and artists such as him right. um do you think that there's a correct way to come into the music game nowadays uh, no nah. which the correct way is get in that's it any way you can it don't mm -hmm. matter like I, I was taught from before, like, yeah, I mean, you got to work with everybody because you never know who that person knows. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. like my cousin, uh, he was working for Sony, right? Mm -hmm. And my other cousin, he's out in Maryland. He He's a rapper. So he pushed it to somebody in Sony and they was like, yo, listen, call him up. Tell him come to New York. I'm going to sign him. Mm -hmm. My cousin was a fool and didn't come and he didn't get signed. Mm -hmm. His spot ended up getting taken by somebody else. Mm -hmm. So, so you, I mean, you never know. So you don't think record deals are obsolete now? Nah, no. not at all. Nah, not at all. Because everybody wants to make it seem like that because everybody want to do their own thing. But not listen, really you exactly, exactly what I was going to say. Everybody can't do that. You know, understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even somebody else told me, like, even if you get offered a record deal, sign it. You know what I'm saying? Sign it. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? Get your contract over with, and then at least you'll be out there. You understand what I'm saying? Then you could build your own thing. You know, you could branch off from there. Sign mm -hmm. it. Why not? Gotcha. And that's your that's your advice to any artist who's coming yeah. out. Yeah, absolutely. Gotcha. So what do you think about uh you know, Lil Lil Uzi Vert, he's been having problems with DJ oh, drama. Oh. Putting out putting out <laughs> putting out uh putting out his, his album Love is Rage too. And we were saying that DJ Drama he has the experience, um, and so he knows exactly what to do, but at the same time Lil Uzi Vert is kinda, you know, saying, Yo, I wanna put it out now, I wanna wanna do it. Me personally, I'm listening to drama. He got the experience. Mm -hmm. um, honestly and truly, uh, I'm a 90s baby, so I'm going <laughs> to keep it real with y'all. Like, I don't even like these new artists nowadays. I don't knock nobody's hype, whatever, but mm -hmm. it's just not for me personally. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Some of them, some of the songs be knocking, though. Don't, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. You'll see me knocking them, but mm -hmm. it's just not for me, really. So, like, mm -hmm. Lil Uzi, I wouldn't, I, especially him, like, you need to listen to somebody who's been doing this. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Coming from the managerial uh, perspective, who do you look up to? 
Hove. It, it doesn't matter. Any question you ask me like that is going to be Jay Z all the way, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> Who's my favorite artist? Who's yeah? It's always Jay Z. Jay Z is a big inspiration on me. Mm-hmm. Like it's so crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. I got my GD because of Jay Z. I wrote like a seven page essay and <laughs> got a perfect score on it. Wow. Dang. About riding around with Jay Z all day, like what we would do, mm-hmm. you know? Because that's the way I look at it. Like I look at him. He came from nothing in the street, selling tapes out his trunk. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then Rockefeller, and then now Rock Nation. And he's he's the man. Like, what can't he do? So mm-hmm. like, yeah. So like, yeah. That's what, what I'm about to. Uh, Lord Fader mentioned before P Diddy. Diddy's a genius too. That's another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And he's from Mount Vernon. He's right there. You know, mm-hmm. right over by us. Um, actually, one of my boys played on the football team with his son on mm-hmm. the Razorbacks. Um, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, def- definitely Diddy. Diddy's a genius. Diddy, um, Jay. Um, who else would I say? I, mean, I don't like Birdman, but he is a genius. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, he's a con man. Con man genius. around to say. Now, um, Kanye as well. Kanye's a, he's a, he's a genius as well. You mm-hmm. know, he started with the uh, good music, and you know, mm-hmm. his lineup on good music is fire to me. Like, everybody on good music is fire. So yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Kanye you think he did well. it correctly though? Because Zaha the Prince is was struggling. Like, common, yeah. common well, just actually, left. So yeah. I has something coming out pretty soon. Yeah, yes, but he people. I've been waiting for that personally myself really? <laughs> for uh, for years he, now. <laughs> for years now, he's been saying, oh, "I'm coming out with an album." You got to realize, like, when you at that top of the platform and everything like that, you can't push everybody at one time. Mm-hmm. You got to wait your turn, and you, as a part of the team, have to know to wait your turn. Mm-hmm. Everybody got to eat. Yeah. You just got to mm-hmm. wait your turn to eat. Yeah, it's like it's just like it's just like the lions when they hunt. Mm-hmm. The male eats first. Then the adult females, then the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It, yeah, yeah. It's a place in line. You just gotta wait your turn, bro. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, I mean, that's so, what, what would you rather do? Try to jump, jump the line and lose your place? Yeah. You know exactly. Like, like mm-hmm. yeah, you jump the line and then yeah, that makes sense, though. now mm-hmm. you you out. It's over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah. So you said that your influence before was was Romeo and, and Bow Wow. No, 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 no. <laughs> that wasn't my influence. That, that was that was that, was, that was made me like. Tch. I got this. <laughs> like, gotcha. I'm going to come in and I'm going to kill them. Like, I yeah. literally think my first ROM, no, I'm lying. My second ROM was a, a Bow Wow Romeo diss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my, so, my first ROM was on a Jay-Z beat. What was, what was like, the first rap you heard that besides Jay-Z that, that made you say, like, damn, besides Jay-Z, Romeo, and, and Bow Wow and, um, and all that? Like, that made me, like, actually want to spit? Or, like, yeah, yeah. um, man, really, it was just, like, it was like the whole Rockefeller, really, like Seagull, um, mm-hmm. Bleak with the understanding. That album is still fired to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was, I was always a Rockefeller guy. And then, you know, um, mm-hmm. I, like I said, I'm from the 90s. So like Big, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, I was never really a Pac fan, honestly, surprisingly, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, those, that, that'd be like the most influential would be the whole Rockefeller mm-hmm. as a whole. So who, who are some of your favorite artists? Now? Yeah, now. Okay, uh, uh, let's see, Jay, of course, um, Jay, Drake, Kanye, um, Two Chains is my guy, don't get me wrong, that's my guy, <laughs> but like, he wouldn't be like in my top five or nothing like that, but he just popped in my head for some reason, mm-hmm. like, um, and I could, I could deal with Future, I could deal with Future, mm-hmm. cause he's, he's hot right now, like, so, but yeah, that'd be, gotcha. that'd be five off my head (laughs) do you think hip-hop is in a good place right now with with all the music that's coming out or do you think that before like the way you did it you know you put out a single then you then you go you push your album you go do radio shows interviews and stuff like that and then the album comes out and then i mean i feel like hip-hop is in a great spot right now on honestly um Mm -hmm. i know that it's a lot harder to make money Mm -hmm. now but Mm -hmm. that just makes you want to be more creative make Mm -hmm. you work harder you understand? Mm-hmm. Like before, like you said, you put a, you drop a single, you pushing that, pushing that, pushing that, you know, and that's it. Nowadays, I drop this. Like, look at Drake. He dropped like what? I mean, was it Drake or Future that dropped like two albums in two days? Like, Future bugging. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're just giving <laughs> out work. Like, mm-hmm. which is cool. Like, that's that's what people want nowadays. Like, mm-hmm. I realize nowadays society doesn't. They don't have a, a long attention span. It's very short. Mm-hmm. Like, look at look at the the Nicki Minaj and, and Remy beef. Mm-hmm. Like, people have been waiting for that for years. They've been dying for Remy to come home mm-hmm. and, and battle Nicki. Mm-hmm. 
It's already done. They did mm-hmm. what? One song each? Yeah, Two she, songs? She, like, just, she came out with a video yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I heard she about the video. Which mm-hmm. is which is still corny. Like yeah, yeah. and then on top of that, if you look at it, Nikki's song wasn't really a dish yeah. record. Like mm-hmm. you made a record and you just dissed her in the record. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's not really what your record was about. Mm-hmm. So like and then like I said, it's all gone now. Nobody's thinking about that. They think they on to the next beef. Mm-hmm. They on to the next one. So Mm-hmm. The attention span is short, so that's why I agree. You got to keep giving out music. You got to keep giving material. Mm-hmm. But what do you think about uh, artists like Kendrick who waited, who wait like a couple years and then, and then drop drop a song or drop an album? Because he did drop Untitled Unmastered, but to me that's still not an album. Not an album that right? was just like his throwaways. Yeah, that was like this could have been that's on exactly it. what he did. Yeah, he was like this could have been on it, and I'm still killing you even even though this <laughs> didn't make it. But like here you go, and and they sold it just you know to make money for like Top Dog. He's he's also one of one of to me one of the best managers in yeah, that's true. Yeah. Top Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I mean honestly I don't agree with that. Um, as far as Kendrick, like a lot of people love Kendrick, they feel like he's so lyrical. Me personally, he's alright to me. He's okay. Mm-hmm. But um, a lot of people love him, like really love him, and like so I feel like yes, you got to give them what they want, bro. They want you. They want to hear you. Mm-hmm. But. I feel like he goes so lyrical, it might actually take him that long to prepare his album and have it the way he wants, because he's probably mm-hmm. a perfectionist. Like, yeah, that's I, what he was saying. Yeah, yeah. He was like, if, if Top didn't come in and say, you're done, like he would still be he's working st- on Exactly, so yeah. that's, that's yeah, I can see that. I can see mm-hmm. that, absolutely. Is there any, any new music that you're working on that's coming out soon? Like you said, you just came from the studio too. Oh, yes, yes. Um, Actually, I, if I can, I'd like to play Um, my, mm-hmm. my first artist, you know, Dolce Escabana, a.k.a. Daffy, you mm-hmm. know, this one right here is called Head Crack. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, we just went inside the booth. We just dropped like four songs. Um, I'm shooting a video for this right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not finished yet, so I can't tell you when it'll be dropping, but it'll be dropping soon. And I'm gonna put this on um on YouTube, SoundCloud, and all that. Um, so mm-hmm. hang on, give me a second. <laughs> That was dope. Yeah, that was dope. Looker, that was fresh. Good luck. Good luck. All right, we gotta get out of here real soon, but uh, just.
like I asked the other two uh, before, is there any piece of advice that you would give to people, you know, going through your journey as, you know, from artist to manager? Is there any piece of advice that you would want to give that you learned on the way? Honestly, um, if if you're an artist, I just say keep working, keep writing, keep trying to make hits, you know. Work mm -hmm. with as much people as possible. Like I said before, you never know who going to hear you. You never know who that person that you're working with might know. You never know who he might play it for that might be somebody and be like, Oh, who's that guy that you rapping with though? Mm. As the art, um, as the manager's perspective, you know, keep trying to find talent. Like everybody ain't got to be extra nice. You could polish people. You understand what I'm saying? You can mold people. So just find the talent. Find that person that has that spark. That's willing to work. That's why. That's why bangs with fade is so hard. He's mm. ready to work. Mm. My son Ty, he's ready to work. We all ready to work. So that's mm. why I bangs with them. You understand what I'm saying? So. Find people that want to work and have something. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's that's my advice personally. And and if all else fails, come see me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Thank you very much for stopping by. We got Lord Faded, we got Taz, we got uh, Super Saiyan, we got Super Hose in here. For Thank, you me, Thank you Thank guys. Thanks for coming. Definitely. Let me give a quick shout anyway. out. Yeah, go ahead. Shout outs to my man Monster Road. That's my left hand. Shout outs to Daffy, the whole LT. Rest in peace, Wamba. We are men before anything. You already know. Shout outs to Pepe. You already know. Shout out to the Av. We here. Shout out to my boy Dwight. Twist mm -hmm. MR. Yo, I gotta listen to MR. Listen to my boy Mike Flow. They out there. Big bass. I hear you working in the streets. Ready red. Yeah, everybody. Death Row. We here. Definitely All right, man. Thank you guys for coming again. Next time we get have my boy Dominic in here. Just next time you guys come in, in you know, a couple months after you guys got songs dropped, mixtape, yeah, yeah, whatever definitely. you got, we're gonna be ready. All Thank right, you. Seven forty-seven, man. Right. Dirty water, E and T. <laughs>